what's up guys welcome uh we got uh unprocessed to check out of course with their new album and everything in between it's uh, gonna be nine tracks listen to them a few times so i've been pretty excited uh, i've been hearing great things uh so we're gonna be checking that out today all right so yeah again nine tracks um it's about 38 minutes so it's a shorter album yeah for those that don't know it's um like it's like polyphia but it's like a whole lot heavier they have a lot of they even have screams in it uh but they have that same like you know technicality as polyphia and uh tim henson does which they're actually even featured on here which is amazing because people are saying oh hey they sound so much like this band but like they actually got featured tim and the scott from polyphia so yeah so that's gonna be awesome so let's go ahead and pause that and uh yeah let's get started uh first song help I believe I don't know if we checked this out. So, uh, actually, yeah. Before we go through, uh, I I believe I already heard uh, "Die on the Cross of the Martyr," uh, "Glass," I believe, and I think "Thrash and Backbone" were the other ones. So we already listened to uh, maybe like more than half, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and just yeah, join the, uh, the journey of uh, unprocessed. So let's go. <laughs> Oh. 
so groovy, man. That groove is, uh... That groove will kill ya. Ooh. Okay. Transitioning to lure. Holy shit. the year already already planned out like jesus oh what a late comer okay this this song i actually listened to before like a couple, few months back whenever they released the single oh we'll up the lyrics His vocals really stride, his clean vocals anyway.
forgot how good this song was. Uh, today, since I'm cutting the stream a little bit short, just wanted to save time for the thing to request you can check it out later. This is insane, like what the fuck. It just like rubs your like circuits in the right way, if that makes sense, like... for a bit too. Yeah, I think these next next two I've already listened to. This one more recently, but
like this single the best, aside from Thrash. Thrash has that really cool breakdown, but this overall, the chorus, the solo right here, got the... So good. All right, next up we got the collab with uh, Tim Hansen. I think it's been between these two or like my favorite um, singles. The way that bass just drops in there. too. Like what? Skyrim like violin. There's Tim's part. Bury me, 
Oh, the chorus is very memorable too. So, yeah, very tough to say what was my favorite single. This one I didn't like as much. This is the other single. I think this is my least favorite, but doesn't mean, you know, I didn't like it necessarily. But I think this one was like a like a slow drag. I remember. Maybe after this lesson I'll like it maybe even more, who knows? Visibility. this territory now. Abyssum. This is a five minute track. Damn. This is our longest Time track. Running further. Breath stops, it's hurting again. Ooh, okay. Focus on the pulsing. I got chills. Then I painted the outlines for you to try to mark the edge, mm. and you try to seize the day to avoid Jesus. the tragedy. Lots of bass. You just throw out the album too. Oh my 
goodness. Hmm. Getting like bad omens, weakened vibes here. Yeah, fucking best non-single right there. Hands down. Back into the groove.
they got them hooks for days, man. Jesus. Coder. instruments there? Oh man. I'm not ready.
western almost here. Or like some like oldies, you know, like um, like the seventies rock or something, right? closing track if uh if i had to pick like what was my favorite closing track of the year it's got to be either that one or silent planet's closing track because that was something else too but wow there wasn't not one track i didn't like or i was kind of iffy with and if i had to pick one it would have been glass but i actually for what it is and how it fits with the album that's still a really good track god damn and and you're saying like there's like callbacks within the song of the songs god damn they've been doing their homework with uh some other band that may have or might not have mentioned on this uh stream slash channel so wow um jesus christ what the what the fuck man these guys came out of nowhere uh with with this album um, I mean, they were, we knew they were creating an album later this year, but they, they literally did at the end of the year, December, I thought I had my albums picked that I liked or, you know, album of the year, but this is also in the running. Holy shit. It's going to be really, really tough to pick my number one. Um, but like, ah, man, I just, this album was something else. Like just... If if the, if the album can make me jam, make me feel, you know, you know, um, fucking just, just ama just amazed by their like talent and their guitar work, amazing vocals. Um, I've also noticed they don't really do a whole lot of breakdowns and do more of like, like how they just kind of just speed up the song with like that like black metal influence almost, um, and then like have these really cool ambient like uh pad work beats uh like trap beats in a way like holy shit that that, that abyssum track yeah that is something i will definitely recommend everyone to listen to at least once um aside from probably the uh collab with polyphia but oh man what a journey that was huh. all right i guess i guess that's all i had to say about that uh I'd be more than willing to check out their rest of their stuff. I don't know if they came out with other albums. Looks like they've been coming out with stuff for a while, though. Uh, Artificial Void was 2019. Uh, Covenant, Perception, and then Increation. So they've been out for a bit. I don't know if they were, like, always had a similar sound or, or heavy or whatever. So that'll be interesting. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for... Uh, of you guys that actually stuck around and uh, it's along with me. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.